there, and thanks for tuning in to Fiddle Quick Video Violin Lessons. Today I have a tune for you called Elk River Blues. And I've got to tell you, I've fallen in love with this tune. I think it's a great, great tune. It's normally played faster than this, but I like it at this slower pace. It gives me a little bit more time to add some extra things and to really feel that bluesy vibe that it's got. The sheet music for my arrangement of this is available for members of my fiddle club. So if you are interested in finding out more about that, please check out my Patreon page at www.patreon backslash fiddlequick. If you enjoy my videos and would like to support this project, please visit me there at Patreon. The cool thing about this tune is also the trickiest thing about this tune, and that's the time signature. It alternates between 5-4 and 4-4. Four, four. I found the easiest way to figure out the rhythm is to subdivide, which means I am giving a beat to every eighth note instead of every quarter note. So yes, that means you've got 10 beats in one measure and eight beats in another, but it's easier to figure out the faster notes that way. So it starts out with a pickup, and that's fairly simple. You've got, and then you've got, so you can feel that asymmetrical phrasing there. So I would count that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine and ten and then the next measure is in four four so you can count that normally but in my opinion it's trickier to go back and forth between the two so i'm going to still count this in eighth notes so i've got one two three four five six seven eight and then i have another bar of five or ten eight one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then four, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Here we are back to five, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and nine, and ten, and I'm going to do that one again because it's got some extra stuff going on in there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and nine, and ten, and... And now we have another bar of four, four. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. Back to five, four. Ready, here I go. One, two, three, four, five, Six and seven, eight and nine and ten and and another bar of four four. One, two, three, four, five, seven. After I did that for a while, I got the feel of it pretty well, but I still count to three in my head on the dotted quarter notes. One, two, three. 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 Playing this along with a backing track is really helpful because it keeps you from dropping one of those 5-4 measures and turning it into a 4-4 measure. So let's play it together. I'm going to set the backing track for three times and then you'll be able to get the feel of it. If you start to feel very confident about it, feel free to start adding in your own embellishments. I'm going to give it a bar to start. Two, three, four. So one, two.
So a few of the ideas I used in my break were to use the shuffle bowing of <laughs> So that is slow down. I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up. So, and it's got a little swing to it. And sometimes I don't quite make the string crossing cleanly, which gives me a nice double stop. So there are a few places where I use that and I've added double stops. The chords are fairly simple at the beginning. You've got the, a C chord, So you can do any note within the C chord. Traditionally, it's played with a double E, fourth finger and open. And I'm adding a blue note in because it's blues. I'm adding a B flat in there. And sometimes I'm going to the open D string. That's not in the chord, but I'm doing it anyway. It kind of gets that swing thing. And then a grace note. So that's, I call it a swoop bowing. I'm catching the open D on the and. One and two and. that shuffle bow often I'm doing a little grace note there this is a D chord a minor G chord another swoop so those are some ideas I'm also in the second break, I am transposing to different octaves. I'm doing the uh, low G. And then I'm going up to the E string. throwing some double stops in there. Once you have the feel of this odd time signature, there's a lot of room to play around and add some cool stuff. So I hope you have fun with it. And again, if you would like a copy of my arrangement of this, you can go to Patreon backslash FiddleQuick and pick up a copy by becoming a member of my Fiddle Club. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please support me there and help me to keep going. Have a great day. Bye-bye.